Welcome to South Asia Newsline. I am Uzma Jafri. Here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Thursday, the 25th of August. India's Interior Minister calls for dialogue to restore peace in Kashmir. Afghan president condemns university attacks, calls it strike against country's progress. And India celebrates birth anniversary of Lord Krishna with religious fervor. And now for all the details. Indian Interior Minister Rajnath Singh called for dialogue with people and other stakeholders of the northern Jammu and Kashmir to end the 50-day long impasse in the province. Indian Interior Minister Rajnath Singh on Thursday met the members of the civil society in India's northern Srinagar and discussed the security situation in Jammu and Kashmir province. Singh, who is on a two-day visit in the city, has met around 300 people, including delegates of various political parties, since Wednesday. During a joint media address with Chief Minister Mehbooba Mufti, he also promised to bring an all-party delegation to Kashmir to study the current turbulence in the province. Singh also appealed for cooperation of the people of Jammu and Kashmir to restore peace and order in the region. कश्मीर के रहने वाले सभी बहनों भाइयों से मैं अपील करना चाहता हूं कि हमारे कश्मीर के रहने वाले जवानों के फ्यूचर के साथ खिलवाड़ न करें पहले भी मैं कह चुका हूं छोटे-छोटे बच्चे 17 साल 18 साल 15 साल 20 साल के नौजवान उनके हाथों में कंप्यूटर कलम बुक्स होनी चाहिए This is Interior Minister's second visit to the valley since the unrest began in July. The death of Burhan Bani, a leader of a banned militant outfit in India's northern Jammu and Kashmir province, has sparked off violence in the Kashmir Valley. People across India gathered at temples for the festival of Janamashtami. It is the annual celebration of the birth of Hindu deity Lord Krishna. The festival is marked with various rituals in different parts of the country. The festival of Janmashtami was celebrated with great form across the country on Thursday. The International Society for Krishna Consciousness, or ISKCON, celebrated Janmashtami with fervor at their temple premises in different parts of the country. People celebrate the festival by worshipping Krishna while keeping fast in the morning and staying up until midnight, the time when the Lord is believed to have been born. Young boys and girls are dressed up as Lord Krishna and Goddess Radha on the occasion. Mathura, in northern Uttar Pradesh province, where Krishna is believed to have taken birth, attracts visitors from across the country. In Mumbai, Janmashtami is celebrated with Dahi Handi event, where people form a human pyramid and break a pot of curd. Devotees sang devotional songs and thronged temples to offer prayers and seek blessings to mark the birth of Lord Krishna. Moving on to news from Pakistan, the federal government of Pakistan has formally contacted British authorities to take action against Muttahida Qaumi Movement Chief Altaf Hussain. Chaudhry Nisar Ali Khan, Pakistan's interior minister, has said that an official reference against the party chief will be sent to the British government. The party's Pakistan leadership has distanced themselves from Hussein after he made anti-Pakistan remarks that led to violent protests by party members and attack on media outlets in port city of Karachi. 
Meanwhile, the United States has responded carefully to the ongoing political strife, urging the MQM to respect critical opinion. Uh, I would just say in a democratic society, uh, critical opinion should be encouraged, not silenced. Uh, we believe that democracies become stronger by allowing free expression uh, from diverse voices. The negligence of authorities in Gilgit, Baltistan has left the agricultural sector in shambles. With no help from the government, farmers in the region are struggling due to lack of knowledge about farming methods. Gilgit, Baltistan has wide stretches of fertile land. With high yielding capacity, it is a prime spot for the cultivation of dry fruits and vegetables. However, farmers in the illegally occupied region are suffering due to absence of training programs by the authorities. Frequent food crises have forced people to depend on the resources from Punjab and other provinces of Pakistan. Agriculture जब तक develop नहीं होगा कोई भी मुल्क वो नहीं होगा इस वक्त हम 200 किलो ढाई सौ किलो का दाल एक किलो ले लेते हैं अगर हम अपनी जमीनों पर ये काश करेंगे तो इस ये ट्रेनिंग हमें कौन देगा देने वाले तो यही एग्रीकल्चर वाले हैं थोड़ी बहुत हर जगह हर आदमी के पास जमीन है हम बेसिकली जो है हर आदमी किसी के पास दस कनाल है किसी के पास बीस कनाल है बड़े जमींदार नहीं है लेकिन उससे हम अगर ये हमें ट्रेनिंग दे देंगे तो इससे हम मुस्तफ़ हो सकते हैं लैक ऑफ मार्केट एक्सेस एंड competitive pricing discourages farmers from traveling to other regions negligible government support and absence of subsidies for the farmers make the situation worse afghan president ashraf ghani in a tough statement said that the terrorist attack on the american university in kabul in which at least 12 people were killed was against the growth of the country no group has claimed responsibility for the attack so far Condemning the attack on American University in Kabul, President Ashraf Ghani said that Afghan people will not bow before terrorists. By conducting attacks on civilians, education institutions, residential places, bridges, power pylons and peaceful demonstrations, terrorist groups want to impede the growth and development of the values that Afghans believe in. as the route towards progress and prosperity of afghanistan president ghani said in a statement the president also added that attack on educational institutions and public places will only strengthen his goal to eliminate terrorism over a dozen people including students and security personnel were killed and scores wounded in a gun and bomb attack on American University in Kabul on Wednesday This is the second time that the university has come under the radar of militants Early this month two foreign university professors one American and other Australian were kidnapped from outside the campus US authorities have said that they are monitoring the situation in Kabul in wake of the strike Look I think anytime we see innocent um civilians whether they're americans or afghans or uh, other innocent people of any nationality in an international city like kabul uh, in harm's way we're of course deeply concerned about that and the security situation inside of afghanistan is still one that is uh, concerning so it certainly is something that we're monitoring closely attacks by islamic state and taliban groups have been on rise in afghanistan in recent times further deteriorating the security situation in the war torn country when the will power is intense then sky is the limit disability does not stop this afghan girl from chasing her dreams 16 year old rababa mohammadi is a gifted artist beautiful collection of pencil sketches adorns her studio but she does not use her finger instead She draws with her mouth. Mohammadi was born with partial paralysis of her limbs and is unable to control her hands and feet. She started drawing less than 2 years ago and now dreams of holding an international exhibition. 
چیزی که من نقاشی را آغاز کنم خیلی ناامید بودم و وقتی که خواهرای مکتب می رفتن بیادرک های مکتب می رفتن خیلی می گفتم اینا از ما که در خوردتر هستن می آم می آم از چقدر سواد پیدا کده چقدر نوشته می کنه می خانه و نام نوشته می کنه چیزا سواد, سواد داره من را سعی که ایج اصلا تا نام خود را نوشته کده نمی تانم بسیار زیاد تا روزهایی بود Mamadi comes from a poor family in Ghazni province who moved to Kabul when she was three after they came to know about her disability. They hope to get medical help for her condition to no avail. می خواهیم که نمایشگاه ما به موزیم آقا خان که به کانادا است بزرگترین موزیم در اونجا است می خواهیم من اونجا برگزار کنم و آرزوی بزرگ مرکز که من می بینم می خواهیم که برای من کمک کنند تا نمایشگاه من اونجا بگیرم مامدی استوری از ان انسپیریشن فور یوت این افغانستان اند بیوند اسپیشلی ان سوسایتیز وئر ڈسیبلٹی از کنسیڈرڈ از ویکنس The depth of the Wednesday's earthquake in Myanmar being very deep minimized the death toll and destruction. But the 6.8 magnitude tremors have affected the tourism sector as scores of centuries-old monuments have been damaged. A day after a powerful earthquake damaged hundreds of famed Buddhist temples, also known as pagodas, the Myanmar government has sent truckloads of soldiers and squadrons of police to rebuild the centuries-old monuments around the ancient capital of Bagan. It has also ordered fire department and other authorities to examine the extent of damage. At least 185 pagodas, many being thousand years old, have been damaged at the site, which is the top attraction for foreign tourists flocking to the country, officials stated. Bagan, the centerpiece of Myanmar's fast-growing tourism industry, has around 2,000 to 3,000 pagodas and monuments spread over a 16-square-mile plain ringed by mist-covered mountains. Ace Fashion Designers of India put up an extravagant show with high glitz and glamour. Models dazzle on the ramp, presenting the winter festive collection during the ongoing Lakme Fashion Week. Well, that's the way it was in South Asia this evening before we conclude the top stories once again. India's Interior Minister calls for dialogue to restore peace in Kashmir. Afghan President condemns university attacks, calls it strike against country's progress. India celebrates birth anniversary of Lord Krishna with religious fervor. Now our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com slash SAsianewsline and follow us on Twitter at SAsianewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night.